Okay, so now that we've gone over some of the basics of using the pen tool and the types of curves and paths that you can create with it, let's trace a path around an object. We're going to be tracing a path around this blue teapot and then we're going to use that path to create a selection. We're going to start at the bottom of our teapot but first let's make sure we have our pen tool selected in the toolbar and then go up to the options bar and make sure that paths is selected. We don't want to create a shape path we want to actually create a path around this object. So make sure that's selected. Also make sure in the options bar that the auto add and delete button is checked off and that the option to add to path area is selected at this time. We're going to get started at the bottom of our teapot. So we'll click and drag out a point because we want that curve to be smooth. Now I'm going to zoom in just a bit down here because I want to show you something. I don't want a curve for this path. This is a, an abrupt change of direction right here. So instead of having this control handle leaving this out here, I'm going to hit the option uh, button on the tool on the keypad for the Mac and Alt on the PC and hit the point I just created and that's going to get rid of that control point and it's going to allow me to have a straight line right there as opposed to having a curved line that keyboard shortcut the option or alt key uh, depending on whether you're using a Mac or a PC allows me to have a little bit more control by chain by taking that control handle off and it allows me to make a point this point here can either be a corner point or a smooth smooth corner point so keep that in mind when you want to make a change in direction you'll notice I'm staying zoomed in here don't hesitate to zoom in on your images if you're trying to make selections because you want to have an accurate you want to be able to accurately create your path so that when you turn your path into a selection you will not have ragged edges that are the mark of an amateur so zoom in take your time make it neat and professional there's nothing worse than looking at a picture that it's obvious that they lifted the picture from another one and there's all kinds of different color backgrounds and jagged edges around there another keyboard shortcut you'll notice me using while I'm editing this path is holding down the option and alt key and I'm able to change into the anchor point tool this allows me to change the direction of the control handle or the curve while I'm actually creating the curve so I don't have to go back and edit that at a later date I can actually edit that as I'm creating the path so you'll notice me doing that quite a bit as I'm creating this path I will pull out a handle and if it doesn't quite fit the way that I want it to I will hold down the option or alt key to get the exact path that I want learning to use the pen tool can be a bit daunting at first but with practice you'll soon get the hang of it and you'll be creating very complex paths very quickly as you can see I'm not doing anything too complicated I'm just zoomed into my image and I'm tracing around it a lot of times you'll want to get this done I mean of course you want to get this done as fast as possible but it does take a moment to learn how to use the curves and speed comes with practice unfortunately that's an, an essential ingredient for success at anything 
is to practice using the tool. So that's what this tutorial is for. This image, by the way, I got from iStock Photo. Uh, it cost a, a dollar. Um, it's very good to practice on objects like this. Just basic objects, everyday objects that has a nice variety of curves and lines. Once you get the hang of doing objects like this pretty soon you'll be doing people and cars and things like that in no time. You'll also see that if you can draw a path around an object like this you can also create some of your own artwork. Say if you didn't have uh, access to a resource like iStock Photo. Um, you can, can scan objects, you can scan images, and you can trace a path around it, and you can fill those images and make your own little silhouette library of different types of objects. And that comes in handy for just creating your own artwork. and I will show you some of those techniques in another tutorial how we uh, fill objects that we've created that we've scanned in now I want you to take note this is a sharp change of direction I don't want this control handle I'll option alt click that and put let this control handle take control over that curve instead of having two control handles where one's pulling this way and the other's pulling that way I'll simply take the control away from that one. That allows me greater control over my curve right there. Okay, so let's finish tracing this path around. You see as I continue to go around the shape, I will continuously use the Option Alt key to switch to the corner conversion tool and that allows me to edit my curves as I'm doing them. Just in case it's quite not what I'm looking for not quite what I'm looking for and I just tweak the points and the control handles until I get what I'm looking for bear in mind that once I have created the path I can still go back and edit the curves until I get it just how I want it alright so now that we have the outer portion of our teapot selected we need to make a path on the inside of our teapot handle so I'm gonna get started with the inside of the handle 